Hello friends, welcome to another video of Rianza Bakes. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Thank you so much for the support given for my previous videos. Today I have come with a delicious cake recipe. It is an eggless semolina chocolate cake. This is an eggless and maidaless cake. It is so easy to make this cake and the cake is really delicious. Everyone will love it. The cake is really soft and moist. So you should definitely try this recipe. Let us see how to make this cake. We'll take half cup of ghee or melted butter. Into this we'll add one cup of sugar. Here I have powdered the sugar. Mix the sugar with the ghee. Add the remaining sugar and mix well. Into this uh, we'll add half cup of curd. The curd should not be very sour. Mix well and add a teaspoon of vanilla essence for flavor. Pineapple essence or any other flavor of your choice can also be used. A pinch of salt can also be added. Into this we will add one and a half cup of fine semolina. If you are not getting fine semolina you can uh, use the regular semolina and uh, just grind it. Into this we will add four tablespoons of cocoa powder and mix well. It is better if you sieve the cocoa powder so that there are there is no lumps in it. Here I have taken one glass of milk. We will alternately add milk and flour. Mix well. Add some more milk and mix well. Into this we will add half cup of whole wheat flour or atta and mix it. Now out of the uh, one cup of milk which we had taken about uh, one fourth cup is remaining. We will keep it aside and allow the batter to rest for half an hour. I have taken a 7 inch uh, cake tin which I have prepared and kept. After half an hour we will take the cake batter and check. The uh, semolina has absorbed the liquid and it has become thick. So we will add the rest of the milk and mix well. So totally we have added one cup of milk so that we get a dropping consistency. Now add 3 4 teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon to half teaspoon of baking soda. Mix well. This should be added only at the final stage just before keeping the batter in the oven for baking. We will transfer the batter into the prepared 7 inch cake tin. Tap the cake tin so that any air bubbles trapped inside is released. Today we are baking the cake on stove top. For that I have kept a, a thick bottom vessel for preheating for 10 minutes. I have also added some salt in the base so that it uh, heats up evenly. So we will bake the cake in this 
set up today. It almost took uh, one hour for the cake to get baked. Now the cake is uh, risen well and it is baked properly. We'll insert a knife and check. The cake is properly baked so we'll take it out. We'll remove the cake from the cake tin after it is slightly cooled down. Remove the parchment paper. The cake looks so beautiful. I'm just going to pour some ganache on top of it. This is purely optional. Uh, just to decorate it slightly. Please try this recipe and uh, give your feedbacks. If you like the video, please uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Please uh, share the video with friends and relatives. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.